Welcome back to Time Kicks for a brand new video review and we're going to be having a look at a brand new but re-released shoe in the Mizuno Contender. So just before we get into the rest of the review, this particular video has been brought to you with the aid of Mizuno. Thank you to Mizuno and the Real Soul family for the opportunity to get my hands on this particular pair and give you guys a review of a fantastic shoe that will be dropping on the 12th of March UK wide at £95. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and if you want to know when new videos drop hit the bell next to that subscribe button. And with that let's have a look at the shoe. So here's the box it comes in a Mizuno branded box with athletic footwear underneath the Runbird logo. It's blue, lighter blue and white all around with Mizuno branding and on the front of it it says sports style contender and this particular colorway of the Mizuno contender S is bleached sand, silver filigree and lunar rock. So inside we're greeted with the shoe. So let's get rid of the box. And here it is. This is the Mizuno Contender. And on first appearances, you can't really say that this is anything but an extremely clean colorway. From an obvious sort of first eye look, you've got some really, really premium suede material and some mesh material. The suede is in a kind of beigey off-white color with some hints of light gray and some darker gray for the Runbird logo. Having a look, the toe box is predominantly a mesh toe box and lined with that really nice suede. You go up through the eye loop area and again, you've got some more of that suede and then on the lateral side, we've got some more of the mesh from the toe box in a light gray with a doubled up effect on the branded area there. The logo has a bit of a white backing onto this darker gray color. Then as we go into the back of the heel counter region, there is some more of this really, really plush, nice suede with some interesting punched out detailing on the heel counter and on the rear is the Mizuno Runbird logo stitched into the back in a white cotton. Above there, you've got the sock liner region, which is really heavily padded. It's really, really nice and comfortable on feet. And you've got some more gray mesh at the top part of the heel area with a little 3M hint at the back. Going on to the medial side, we've got the Runbird branding again and some more suede and mesh paneling. The midsole is made out of their own EVA and there is some trans power Mizuno technology within the heel portion of this shoe to give you a really really comfortable ride under feet. Yes this is a running shoe so it should have quite a lot of comfort underfoot and I can guarantee you that that is the case. You could wear this pretty much all day long without a single problem whatsoever. On the tongue area, you've got the Mizuno M branding and it is a slightly darker gray mesh material that is pretty well padded as well. And aesthetically has this kind of almost cut out area for the tongue that makes it a lot more comfortable to wear than a normal tongue that rides kind of up your shin a little bit. The insole is stitched in, so I can't remove it, unfortunately, but as you can see on the inside of here, it says Mizuno, and as far as I'm aware, the insoles are really cushiony and soft as well, so that gives you an extra bit of cushion ride on top of the midsole. The undersole is black predominantly with some really strong tread on the bottom of it. Does give you a lot of traction with the Mizuno branding on the heel area. So I want to give you a few more facts about the Mizuno Contender. Originally released in 1995, it was introduced at the same time as Mizuno's well-known Mondo Control, which features design ideas from Mizuno's founder, Rihachi Mizuno. 
The Contender took the design cues from the Mondo series and is designed for neutral runners who wanted a lightweight aesthetic and well cushioned shoe to run in. Combined with a polypag mesh with synthetic leather and suede reinforcement for a durable construction whilst maintaining maximum comfort. The lasted board inside increases the underfoot stability and support for the runner with reflective details on the heel to add an element of safety on darker runs. That midsole is a molded EVA foam with Mizuno's Trans Power technology, which is a highly responsive foam insert and also provides shock absorption and added cushioning. The outsole is new and made from one piece of solid rubber and in the forefoot you've got a lot of these really good flex grooves for a smoother transition from heel to toe. As for the fit of these shoes, I managed to get these in a UK 10. Now I am a true to size UK 9.5. Unfortunately, for some reason, there weren't any available at the time of this review, but there will be when they drop on the 12th. I will say that I would definitely go true to size if you do not have wide feet. But if you do, you could just about like me, get into a half size up, but I would definitely recommend you trying on a pair before you buy purely to make sure that they fit right for you. And with that being said, I think it's that time for an on foot. That was it. This was a review of the Mizuno Contender in this stunningly clean colorway that we're releasing on the 12th UK wide. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Ty Kicks. Hit the bell next to that subscribe button if you want to know when new videos drop. And I will see you guys for a new review of something else very soon. Take care. Bleach sound. What? Bleach sand, silver filigree, and lunar. Bleach sand. Bleach sand. Bleach sand, lunar. Nope. Bleach sand, silver. Bleach sand. Bleached sand, silver filigree, and lunar rock. The outsole is new and made out of a one piece of solid rubber. Nope, that makes no sense again. The outsole is made of a new piece. Oh my god. The outsole is made of a new one piece of. Oh no. What am I doing? Made out of a one piece. Oh no, 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 out of a one piece. The outsole is made of a solid rubber design with a four. No. I'm just going to leave it with absorption and cushioning and cut that bit out. I can't even bother.